Side note, can someone explain to me why I feel like I can talk more freely in my car than in my own home? I'm actually asking that because I really do feel like I could just kind of say whatever I want and talk more freely in my own home than in, in my car than my own home, but that's not what this video is about. A while back, I made a video where I said I feel like we're in constant protest over the last year. And really thinking about it, we've been in constant protest since like the beginning of civilization. I'm just a little more aware of it now and paying more attention to it. Specifically, the, the last year, just with the election and this current bullshit administration, we, there's been a lot of protesting. And I, I personally have been trying to get more involved and do more. I also feel like there's a lot of protesting coming from the things I love, the fandoms I love, the TV shows, the video games. And I see this as both a good thing and a bad thing. There's been certain TV shows. There was uh, episodes of Doctor Who this season that is all the way over in you know in in the UK uh, on the BB in the UK on the BBC, and even they're protesting this administration. There, the third, the almost the entire third act of Ages of Shield was a direct was in direct reference and protest to this administration, to Trump's administration. If you if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Trump's administration. And I, and I see this pro and I see the this the these fans fandoms protesting as both a good thing and a bad thing. On the one hand, it's kind of exhausting. For me, a lot of my games, a lot of my books, a lot of my TV shows, movies, all these things are things that I, I go to to escape, to escape reality, to just kind of get out of my head, get out of what's going on and relax and enjoy, enjoy a good story, enjoy good entertainment. And whenever there are, you know, whenever these things are just in direct referencing, directly referencing current events, it, it, it's kind of exhausting and frustrating on that hand. But at the same time, as exhausting as that can be, I am also really proud to be a geek at this time when there are the things that I love standing up for the things that I love and the things that I believe in and the things that I think are good. And I kind of love that. And that's kind of, it's, while it is exhausting, just never being able to escape from it, it's also really uplifting because you see, you know, in your shows, in, in your, in your fandoms that you really aren't alone, that not only are you know, other fans behind you, but the show itself, the the creators, the artists themselves that you follow and that you and that you kind of look up to and look to to help escape reality are behind you, are agreeing with you, are in solidarity, are in unity with you. And I think that's just a really uplifting feeling. On the one hand, it is kind of exhausting because it makes it difficult to escape, but on the other, it's 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 very uplifting and it's very moving. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you later.